Hey everyone, this is Chi Wei from One Dog Wolf, and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet bobble stitches in the round. We're going to start with a tail and make a magic circle. So we have a magic circle here. I'm going to kind of make the circle a little bit smaller. And I'm going to work six single crochets into this magic circle. And then when you're done with the six stitches, you're going to pull them tight and take this last stitch and join it to the first stitch in the circle. And you're going to and then finish it off with a slip stitch. So we've joined our circle here. Make a chain stitch. Now for round two, you have six stitches around. You're going to work a single crochet and a bobble stitch in each stitch around. Okay, so the first thing we'll do here is make our single crochet. Oops. And then in the same stitch, we're going to work the bobble stitch, which is four incomplete double crochets. So this is halfway through a double crochet. To finish, we would yarn over and pull through these two loops, but we're not going to do that. We're going to yarn over and make, start another double crochet. Okay, so that's two. That's three. And that's four unfinished double crochets and we have five loops on our hook. So now we yarn over, pull through all five loops, and then the next thing we're going to do is work a single crochet into the next stitch. Now normally when we work into the single crochet you can see that the bobble stitch um, bumps out on the back side of your work instead of on the front side because you know we've pulled these two stitches close together and then all of these extra ones are going to bump out the back side. Um, and that's okay if you understand that to, in order to see the bobbles you're going to be looking at the back side of all of your other stitches as well. For my project I want to see the bobble on the front side um, so what I'm going to do is give myself a little bit extra slack here like this is going to be a really big stitch and then I'm going to insert my hook into this next uh, stitch pull up a loop but instead of letting the hook be on the front in front of the bobble stitch I'm going to kind of push my hook to the back and that forces this bobble hold on it forces this bobble to push out the other way so that my um, single crochet is going to be in the back of the bobble stitch, which forces the bobble to come out in the front. Okay, so now these two stitches are really big. I'm going to tighten them down, and I'm going to finish off my single crochet, and again, tighten those stitches down. And then we follow the same pattern. You work um, a bobble in the same stitch as your single crochet. And then once you have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, and pull through all five loops, start pushing the bobble towards you, and then give yourself plenty of slack on the active yarn. Insert your hook into the next stitch to make your single crochet, but flip it over to the back side of the bobble and then tighten the stitches down. And then finish off your single crochet. Again, you can tighten that down as well. So sometimes we end up with a really big stitch here. This ends up being bigger than the others. Um, you can 
also just try to twist your way around to get into the next stitch for the single crochet and that keeps this stitch uh, a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter. You can also just tighten your stitches as you go. Okay, and then we're going to work the same pattern all the way around. So you'll end up with six bobbles in this round. And then here you're going to slip stitch into the first uh, single crochet in the round. Which is right here. Okay, so there's your first round of bobbles. Now on this second round, we're going to make a round of just um, single crochet stitches because if you look, all the stitches are kind of folded in on themselves and we want to double the number of stitches here so we can kind of flatten that out. So we're going to chain one and then we're going to work into each of these stitches twice. So two single crochets in each of the stitches around. Now we finish the second round of just single crochets and we'll slip stitch into the first stitch of the join, or sorry, the first stitch of the round and join with a slip stitch. And then chain one. And now we're ready to make our second round of bobbles. For this round, we're going to work a single crochet into the same stitch as the join. And then we're going to spread out the bobbles a little bit. We're going to work the bobbles into the next stitch, but then at the end, the single crochet will go into the following stitch. So we're not going to work a single crochet and a bobble into the same stitch anymore. We're going to spread them out. So this first bobble goes into the next stitch. yarn over and then you're going to work into the next stitch here and then instead of working the bobble into that same stitch as the single crochet we're going to work into the next one Right, and then we can use either method to get the bobbles to the side that we want. Now, obviously, if you don't care about um, having the bobbles on the front side, then this step becomes a lot easier. You just have to work a single crochet and then just let the bobbles bump out on the back. But this way I can have the bubbles, the bobbles on the front. So now you just follow the same pattern all the way around um, to the beginning where you'll join with the first single crochet with a slip stitch. So right now I am on the last stitch of this round. Um, I'm finishing up a bobble. As you can see I have five loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all five and I'm not going to make the next single crochet because that was the last stitch of the round. So I'm going to look for my first single crochet. And we're going to slip stitch into that. But again, I'm going to push that bobble outwards before completing the slip stitch. And that was the second round of bobbles. So if we think about the math a little bit, um, so that you know how to keep increasing. The first round was six stitches into the magic circle. And then the first round of bobbles, we doubled that up to 12. And then for the round of single crochets afterwards, the one in between the two bobbles, um, we worked two stitches into, two single crochet stitches into every stitch. 
So that increased our stitch count to 24. And then this round of bobbles actually kept the stitch count at 24 because we worked a single crochet into one and then a bobble stitch into the next one. For the next round, we're going to work single crochets around again, but we have to increase because the diameter of the circle is increasing. So we're going to be increasing by 12 stitches. So if we had 24 stitches here, our next round is going to be 36, which means for every two stitches, we want to increase to three. So we're going to work a single crochet and then an increase in the next stitch. And then we'll do a single crochet and an increase, a single crochet and an increase all the way around. And that will take us up to 36 stitches. And then following that, the next round of bobbles will then stay at 36 stitches. Okay, so I'm going to work my round of single crochets. So that was one single crochet, and then I'm going to work an increase, which means to do two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to continue this way around. Here you can see I have started my next round. Um, I worked 36 stitches of single crochet into the round following, immediately following the bobbles. And then my next round of bobbles is going to uh, keep the same number of stitches, which is 36 around. 36 divided by two is 18, which means we're going to have 18 pairs of uh, single crochet plus bobble stitch. And I wanted to take a moment to kind of show you what a, a choice that you can make. At the beginning of the round, if we decide to start the round the same way as we did all the others, with a single crochet in the same stitch as the join, and then made a bobble stitch in the next one, then a single crochet, then a bobble, you end up with this sort of configuration where the bobbles are um, nestled in and they're kind of staggered in with each other. Now, if you wanted to make it look different, you could always start off with a bobble and then a single crochet so that your pairs are bobble, single, bobble, single. And um, I worked two bobbles here to kind of show you if you worked it that way, then your bobble stitches will tend to be on top of each other versus sort of being staggered in like a cluster. At the beginning of the round, you can choose to either start with a single crochet or to start with a bobble stitch and you'll come up with slightly different bobble layouts both ways. Now there is this hole in the center um, and that was the magic circle. At any point you can pull this tight so that you can get it closed all the way and then if you turn it over then your center has your center has closed off. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and if you did I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.